band of Monsters and Men. I'm going to show you the chords and the basic finger picking pattern for this song. If you want to play along with the recording, you'll need a capo at the third fret, and I'm going to call out all the frets from the capo. There's three chords in the verse, A minor, C, and F major 7. Let's start by placing the A minor chord down. Put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the third finger on the second fret of the third string, A minor. When you move to the C chord, you only need to take your third finger and move it to the third fret of the fifth string. Fingers one and two can stay down. And when you move to the F major seven chord, you only need to move the second and third fingers to strings three and four. So now my second finger is on the second fret of the third string and my third finger on the third fret of the fourth string. So we have A minor, C, and F major seven. Now let's take a look at that finger picking pattern. If you need more work with finger picking and you're a beginner or a more advanced player, check out my website at www.edkime and there's a section on there called techniques to master the guitar. You can start there as a beginner and learn basic finger picking and you can study further to learn more intermediate and advanced finger picking techniques. That's techniques to master the guitar at www.edkime.com. Now the finger picking pattern for the chords A minor and C are on strings 5, 4, and 3 played with the thumb and index finger. The thumb will always pick on the fifth string for the chords A minor and C. And here the pattern is like this. It's an eighth note pattern. It goes five, four, five, three. Five, four, five, three. That's one measure. In eighth notes, you would count that out like this. One and two and three and four and. Now you hear I lifted my third finger off the third string on the last upbeat of that measure, changing to the C chord, and that's what you'll hear in that song. And then it goes to the C chord. Now, I'm not gonna do the hammers, I'm gonna just do the pattern, and I'll explain the hammers next. So for the C chord, it's two measures, and the pattern is the same on strings five, four, and three, thumb, index, thumb, index. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and then it changes to the F major 7 chord for one measure and the pattern is the same but the way you pick the pattern is the same but the pattern shifts to strings 4, 3, and 2. So the pattern of strings is going to be 4, 3, 4, 2, thumb, index, thumb, index. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and those are the beats for one measure. Here's the pattern without the hammers and you'll hear the change on the upbeat going into the C chord. A minor, I'm going to count out the beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's see if we can take a look at how those hammer-ons work. Starting with the A minor chord, we're going to pick the pattern there's no hammer-ons in this measure, so strings 5, 4, 5, 3, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and you lift on that upbeat, moving to the C chord. Now, here's where the hammer-on is on the first beat of the first C chord measure. Pick the fifth string, then lift your second finger off in the left hand. You pick the fourth string open with your index finger, and then hammer your second finger to the fret and then you pick the fifth string and then the third string and that's just half the measure. You finish the next half of the measure five, four, five, three, and then one more measure of C one and two and three and four and then you go to the F major seven chord and the hammer happens in the same place. It's on the first beat of the measure so you pick the fourth string then you lift your second finger off of the third string. You pick the third string open with your index finger, hammer your second finger to the fret, and finish the pattern by picking strings four and two with thumb and index, and that's just half the measure. So now you finish the measure, strings four, two, four, or four, three, four, two. And here's the entire thing with the hammers. I'm gonna go real slow. Watch how the second finger hammers. Now, if you need more work with these uh, other techniques of the left hand, 
Check out my website, www.edcon.com. Contact me for webcam lessons and I can take you through this step by step if you need to work on the hammers. Or if you just want webcam lessons, you can study with me through the webcam. Doesn't matter what country or what state you live in. I'm located in the United States. But contact me for webcam lessons if you're interested. Starting with A minor, I'm going to count you through the pattern and we're going to go through the hammers. One and two. how the pattern works for all the verses. Here it is all together. Now there's one more part, the bridge, and there's two more chords. There's a G with a B in the bass and a G. The G with the B in the bass you're going to play just by placing your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string and you strum strings five, four, and three with your thumb. And then you move to the C chord. So it's A minor, G with a B in the bass, C, and you just strum with your thumb. The next row of chords, C, F major 7, A minor, and then G, a regular G chord. Second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and the third finger on the third fret of the first string. That's your G chord. So the bridge, A minor, G with a B in the bass, C, then C, F major, A minor, G. And that's all there is to the song.